Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. Welcome back, and I'm still at Guardian Con. I actually got invited to the Bungie booth to do a meet and greet on day two with my friend Cami Cakes, and I hope to see you guys there. If you see me and find me, I have stickers and magnets for you. And while we're on this topic, I would like to thank you personally. I'm pretty low-key with my channel. I try to put out the best content that I possibly can, and I don't expect anything at all, so this is the first time I've ever been invited to do something like this. So thank you very much for your support. Unfortunately, this is going to be the last video I have up before I get back. I will have a recap of the event if you guys would like, share some pictures of the event. But today's a quick video reminder about inner accuracy. I don't see too many people talking about it. It was a big deal in early Destiny 2. As of now, though, I know some of you utilize it. I know you do, but I personally don't see it too much. And I think that I don't see it too much because at the start of Destiny 2, the inner accuracy was very, very poor and a lot just didn't try it or don't try it. And it was deliberate for it to be like that in early Destiny 2 to lessen the skill gap. Back in 2.0, in a laundry list of patch notes, there was one line, just one line, a quote, buff to inner accuracy on primary ammo weapons. That's it. Now when this happened, I remember trying it, and it was decent, but now? It could have always been this good, or I didn't notice, or it possibly got a stealth buff along the way. Regardless, your inner accuracy is very, very high now. It's not 100%, but it's like 80 or 90. Enough to feel very confident in it when you try. And all the clips coming up I don't have on an Icarus mod, and it seems to benefit hand cannons the most. If you don't use it, already know, no problem, but this is going to be there for players that don't or haven't tried it in a long time. And weapons like SMG's hand cannon sidearms are really good from the air now, enough to really rely on them. And you can see it if you go into a private match or you're out in PvE, if you jump in the air with a hand cannon and hit the wall, it goes exactly where you're aiming. It didn't do that in the early start of Destiny 2, it veered off inaccurately. It's not just primary ammo weapons. The line states primary ammo weapons got inner accuracy, but all the same weapon archetypes for energy do the same thing. So you can be on any class, but I'm showing here on the Stompy Hunter. And like before, the 180s are highly accurate when you aim down sights, but now 140s and 150s are as well. I can 3-tap fairly consistently using the Ace, Spare Rations, various others. The issue is that I don't have any Destiny 2 early footage to compare this to, but then again, I wouldn't have any footage because it was so poor. Right now, you can go on and look at Reddit and Bungie forums of past posts of players calling out in-air accuracy because it was so bad. And since then, a lot of players weren't using their vertical space. So now, if you're in a gunfight, don't be afraid to peek the corner from the air to try to land the final blow. Again, accuracy values are different, and there are some weapons that were good, but feel better, like SMGs. SMGs tend not to stray away from your intended path now. And things like scouts, snipers, pulses, fusions, they do have some issues, but they're way better than they were before. And those actually do see the added benefit of an Icarus mod. And something like a shotgun with the RNG pellet spread, it gets a little bit better with the Icarus mod. But I noticed on things like scouts, it's like every other shot. One shot will be on, the next shot will be off, inaccurately. The next shot's on, and so on. So go try it out in PvE, get a feel for it, or go into a private match with a friend. Use different weapons and get back to using your vertical space. Regular content will resume around the 11th or so of July. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.